Okay, now we're ready to um, create some, some name server records uh, in AWS. And then what we're going to do is in our, um, in our registrar, whoever that is, whether that's Amazon or, um, or really wherever your domain's hosted, um, I chose uh, Google Domains for my um, domain registrar. I like working with them, uh, but I'm sure you have, there's many different ones. There's Bluehost and GoDaddy and Namecheap, uh, HostGator, all those things. I don't know where you bought your domain. It doesn't really matter. Uh, for this step. You don't have to transfer them to Amazon. It's, it's totally cool. Um, instead of transferring to Amazon, what you're going to do is you're going to create um, through this next step four um, name server records and then you're just going to go in your um, and I'll show you all this, but you're going to go into your uh, registrar and update the, the subdomain that we just made um, to point to these four name servers. So let's do that here. Um, so this is the command that's going to do it. It's going to um, ask uh, Route 53, which is another AWS product, um, to generate um, some name servers for your uh, your subdomain. Um, the subdomain um, is again where the the addressable space for your cluster. Um, and I guess I should mention this isn't like um, people aren't just going to go to your like this this subdomain. Uh, it's it's for you to identify your cluster. Um, this will, this will be locked down so no one, no one can, you know, get to it that uh, isn't authorized to get to it. So let's do that. So I'm going to copy this command. Actually, I have it copied up here uh, because you want to change this name to uh, your cluster DNS. So here I go. I'm going to do that. And this spits out four uh, name servers. So now what I'm going to do is go to my uh, domain registrar and add these as an NS record. So I have Google Domains open. Um, again, you can use whatever you want. Um, at the, the name of this, I'm going to call testing because that's uh, my subdomain. And it's a namespace record. Uh, one hour is fine. And I'm going to add these four name servers in here. So this is one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. Great. Okay. So that's wonderful. So now um, testing.brightsidestudio.com uh, is pointing to these um, AWS namespace records, uh, which is which is wonderful. Or name server records, not namespace records. So we did that. So now uh, we can create a cluster um, at that subdomain. So that's this next step. Um, we just say cops create cluster. We give it the name of the cluster, which is again our subdomain, um, our zone, and the S3 bucket we already made. I'm going to give a couple more commands. Oh, and then we say yes to actually do it. Um, if we don't say yes, it'll like uh, make the configurations, but won't spin it up. So, but I want it to spin up. Um, I have more, a couple more configurations here, um, and I'll just paste them. Um, so I also, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little cheap. Uh, this probably isn't a production ready uh, cluster. You can play around with these, but I'm going to give the master, the, the Kubernetes master, um, and the node size uh, like real small. Um, AWS EC2 instances. Uh, this will run a container to probably maybe more, I don't know, uh, just fine. Um, and I can always make them bigger later. So let's do this. Let's create the cluster. Cool. So it says uh, the cluster is starting. It should be ready in a few minutes, which is great. Um, cool. So now uh, I can kind of check the status. Um, yeah. So it's it's not able to connect right now, um, but it's it's trying to spin up. Um, you can see my my kubectl is is trying to talk to this uh, Brightside Studio. Um, cluster, which is here, and then I added another subdomain called API, which is what the Kubernetes um, uses to talk. So we'll give this a minute. Um, we can even, I'm not going to show this, but we can even jump over to EC2 um, in the AWS console and kind of watch these things get spun up. There should be three nodes that are going to get spun up, um, the master and the two nodes.
uh, the two Kubernetes workers. So we'll give this a second and we'll uh, check back in a minute. 